Hey, it's Math Fun Friday. And of course we have our puzzle pieces and we're gonna do some ordering numbers, find out that rule. And then down at the bottom, we are going to take numbers from unit form to standard form or standard form to unit form. We'll talk about what that looks like. So here we are with our pattern. This is what makes our Fridays fun. Here I have 35, and I know if I go up, I'm subtracting 10. So my 10 here is 30. My 10 here would be 20. My one stays the same. My 10 here would be one, just 10, one 10. And my one stays the same. Now going left to right, we know that's the easy part because I'm either subtracting one or adding one. So after 15, I know comes 16. After 25, I know it's 26. And before 25, if I go backwards, it would be 24. Excellent, excellent work. Now here, I have 111. If I go down, I'm only looking at the tens place. So here I have 100 and I have a one. But if I'm going down, I'm going to add 10. So 121. See how that was 110, now I have two tens. 131. Three tens. If I start at this point and I go up, I wouldn't have any tens in the tens place because this is one. So I would have 101. And to the right, I would have 122. So whenever we're working, always think about that compass. We've been working on this for a few weeks, almost the whole nine weeks. So I know this compass is in your head. You know what direction to go in. So down here with ordering numbers, I'm not only gonna find the pattern, but I have to state the rule. So let's look at what's similar. I have four, four, and four. That's similar. That's probably gonna be in all the numbers we have. What is different? My tens place, I have two. My tens place, I have three. Down here, my tens place, I have seven. So that would cause me to believe that it's not counting by one, it's counting by 10. So count by 10. So 24, 34, this will be 44, 54, 64, and of course, 74. Let's see, for this next one, I have something here. I don't know what it is, and it skips 224. And I have something here, and it skips 228, 30. You know what helps? Seeing this 30 and 32, because see, that's a 10. And I know exactly how many I need to get to 32, and that would just be two more. So I'm counting by two. So notice I didn't start here and try to figure it out. I started where I could figure it out and then I can work backwards. So this is 32, if I subtract two, I'll get 30. 
Here I'm at 30. If I subtract 2, I would have 28, 228. 228, if I subtract 2, 8 minus 2, I would end up at 226. Did you get that? I know you did, because you're a genius. If I go back two more, six minus two would give me four. Now here, 224 minus two. Four minus two. You should have gotten two, two, two. 222. See how we were able to fill that in once we figured out that rule? Now here, let's look at what's the same. Well, already I can see in my ones place, I have the number nine all throughout. Now, there are 200 here, but then I have 300 over here. So that's different. My tens place, 40, 30, 20. Hmm. I think we're counting by 10. And I think the only reason why it's 200 on this side and 300 on this side is because I crossed 100. See how this is 299? 299, the next number is 300. So I just crossed over 100, but I'm counting by 10. So here, if I just go backwards, this was 349, 339, 329. I think this would be 319. See how it's going 40, 30, 20, 10? And I don't think there's going to be any tens here. So here I was at 299, but when I went to 300, it was just 309. Then I went 319, 329, 339, and 349. Excellent work there. Now here we are, we're going from unit form to standard form, but here we already have the standard form. So let's take it back to unit form. So 256, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I could write this as 200s, five tens and six one. That's one of the many ways I could have written that. Now here I have 89. So here I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And then nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones. I could actually write this as 89 ones. Because each one of these is 10 ones. 10, another 10, another 10, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I could turn all of these into ones. And then I could also have nine ones. So all together, that could be 89 ones. Or you could write it as eight tens and nine ones. Either way, works. Very good job. Today was fun. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you next week for our last week. I know, it's sad our last week of learning. You've done so much. You've learned to manipulate so much. And our last week, next week, it'll be pretty fun. Have a good weekend. Hi, my budding geniuses. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you have your book so you can follow along. 
practice on your own for 15 minutes and then log in to review the lesson. Remember, there's a purpose for your life. If you stay focused, you can say, oh, yay me, I understand. See you tomorrow. Bye now.